morning and happy Palm Sunday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a lovely Sunday morning. As always, I miss you. I hope you're doing well. And I'm so glad that you're joining me for Sunday school this morning. So as I said, today is Palm Sunday. Um, and I'm gonna read you guys a little passage from the Bible about what Palm Sunday is. But before I get to it, will you guys open up in prayer with me? Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dearest God, Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you for every good gift that you've given us this week. Lord, thank you especially for the gift of Jesus and his ride into Jerusalem. Lord, I pray that you are surrounding us on this beautiful day and being with us as we celebrate. I pray all this in your name, amen. So as I said in my prayer, Palm Sunday is about Jesus's ride into Jerusalem. I'm gonna to read to you guys a little passage today. If you have your Bible, you can bring it out. This is gonna be from Matthew chapter 21, verses one through 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, see your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So as I just read, this story is about Jesus riding into Jerusalem and he rode in on a donkey. And while he was riding in, the people were so excited that Jesus was coming. Jesus, this guy who performed all these miracles, who spoke um, of God's most beautiful love, who did all these amazing, beautiful things, he was coming into their city. And so the people got so excited that they went out and they got branches from trees and they started waving them and they were so excited that they just <laughs> kind of went like this. And this is something that we actually do um, on Palm Sunday. So if you guys have been to church during Palm Sunday, a lot of times they'll have palm branches. And these are pretty fun because you get to wave them. Sometimes you get to wave them while you're singing. And Palm Sunday is just so fun because it's like this huge celebration of Jesus entering Jerusalem. And um, unfortunately, we can't really be together this Palm Sunday because of the virus that's happening, but I think there's still a way that we can celebrate together. So I have all these palm branches and I thought it'd be fun to do a little project with them. So some of you guys may know that I used to work on a farm and one of the fun things that we did on the farm is we made earth art. Now, what is earth art? I hear all of you guys saying. It's pretty awesome. Basically what you do is you just walk around and you find different objects on the ground. It's very important that they're on the ground and not uh, attached to plants or trees or anything like that. And you use them to create art. And you can put them on the ground in a really cool design. And um, if you find colorful plants, you can make it really colorful. You can make it look really interesting and pretty. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm here in the church garden and I already got my palm branches, but I wanna find some other things that we can use for our earth art. Um, this is really great. Do you see on the ground how there's all of these flowers? These would be perfect for my earth art. I'm gonna pick up some of these and save them for when I put together my project. All right, now I'm kind of by the little cute little garden that's right in front of the church before you go into the sanctuary. And I found all of these sticks on the ground that I think would be wonderful for our earth art. These would just be perfect. So I'm gonna collect some of these for my project. All right, now I'm on the side of the church and I found this beautiful tree right here. 
and underneath it there are a bunch of fallen flowers. Some of them are, look like they were just fallen off so they're still pink, but some of them are brown. And you know what? I think both of them would be just perfect for this project. So I'm gonna pick up some of these. Perfect. All right, here I am at the side of the church and as I was walking into work this morning, I saw all of these beautiful, beautiful poppies on the ground. Now remember, you don't wanna pick the actual flowers. You don't wanna pick anything that's still living, but there are a number of beautiful little pieces of the flower, petals and things like that that have already dropped onto the ground. So I'm gonna pick up some of those. Now I have my pile of things that I've collected right here on the ground. See, there we go. I got my palm branches, I got some dead leaves, I got some of the petals and flowers that fell off the ground, I got some sticks, and now I am ready to create my earth art. In order to create your earth art, you wanna find a place that has a lot of space on the ground. This is perfect for me because it's right in front of the church. You can see the announcement bill board, Let's see, we got the garden over there, the sanctuary over here, and I'm gonna put mine right here. Now you can start out pretty simple. For instance, I put a single flower right there in the center of mine because I thought that was super pretty and I wanted it to be in the center. And next, I'm gonna add some of my materials. All right, this is what I got going on next. I think it's starting to come together. Uh, keep in mind, there isn't a right way to make earth art. It's kind of just putting together these like plants in any way that you feel. All right, guys, I am excited to share with you my finished piece of earth art. Ta-da! Ooh, wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's right in front of the church's front doors, which means that anyone who comes to the church will be able to see my beautiful piece of earth art. Isn't that exciting? We got all the pretty colors. Oh, I'm so excited about this. As you guys make your earth art, think about a couple things. Think about how this can be a way for you to celebrate the coming of Jesus. Think about if you guys were one of the people in Jerusalem who knew that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, this savior, this miracle worker, this amazing, amazing man was coming to your city, to your hometown, how would you welcome him? Would you throw up a bunch of palm branches and start singing? Would you create a beautiful piece of art in honor of him? Like think about that as you're creating this piece. And then, in addition to that, think about all the joy that seeing this is gonna bring someone else. Maybe you can make this like on your driveway, on your front lawn, something where people who are walking around during this time can see something so beautiful and just bring a, a, a ton of joy to their hearts from it. So um, think about who you could be helping or who you could be bringing um, joy into their lives by making something like this. And if you do decide to make a piece of earth art, kind of like the one I made or of your own design, or maybe it's a picture instead of a design shape like this, anything that you make using the earth, take a picture of it, send it to me. I'd love to see what you guys create. This is a really fun activity. It's completely free it can be really therapeutic and it feels good just to be like getting your hands on like some freshly fallen leaves and stuff like that to be able to make something beautiful like this so if you end up making a making a design just like send me a picture 
And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Um, remember that this is a day to celebrate and a day to be joyful. So have fun with your families um, celebrating the coming of Jesus. I'm excited that we got to do a little activity together even though we're not physically in the same place. I hope you enjoyed it. Before we head out, I'm gonna say a quick prayer. Dearest God, thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much for the joy that's surrounding us on Palm Sunday. God, thank you that we have so much to celebrate. Lord, I pray that you're with people um, today who are maybe having a hard time or are just trying to get through the coronavirus situation. Lord, I pray that you bring them love, that you bring them hope, you bring them goodness, and you bring them lots and lots of cheer and comfort. God, thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for all your love, and we love you too. Amen. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.